hello. So this is part two of what did ThreadUp not take? So I did pay the $10.99 return box. So the rest of the shipping was free to ThreadUp and I paid the $10.99 to return me the items they did not want so they don't donate it so I get them back. I have two bags here. Let's see what they don't want. Okay, there's actually some purses in here, and this is the first time I have had purses returned to me. Um, well, this many. I would like to mention that I am happy with ThreadUp's process and for the most part, the payouts, only mostly because I do pay for all my clothes a dollar a pound and purses are 75 cents a pound. So I can get several purses pretty cheap. So the first one I figured they would take, and I think I'm gonna try to send this one back in. It's Ralph Lauren. Um, I'm not seeing any holes. I'll look it over more before I send it in. But, I mean, I'm just not, there's no holes in the fabric. I've heard some people complaining um, about they're not processing the bags fast enough. I'm aware they're not um, processing the bags very fast, but I'm being patient. So yeah, you gotta kinda work with the uh, what we got. Hopefully it's real. It feels real to me. Next one, this is probably, yeah, just a fragrance bag, so I won't send this one back in. Um, so yeah. Probably wouldn't be a high profit anyways. It's Vera Wang frag fragrance bag. Next one is Nine West. I will try to send this one back in. The darker colors is leading more up to fall and it is September. So the inside of this bag is overall pretty decent. I don't see any holes in the fabric and the straps are in pretty good condition too. Next one, it does have some damage right there in the front. It's pretty heavy. It is by Yoki, 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 never heard of this. It is kind of heavy. It's got some staining on the leather. Uh, I don't think I'll send this one back in. It's a little dirty on those handles. I didn't notice that. Some shoes. And I actually didn't think they would take these Sperry Topsider water shoes, but I tested it to see, and nope, they didn't want them. Pretty clean. Gold coloring on the side. Those were the bottoms. And these are some Toms wedges and I think this one's missing some of the cork back here so I figured they wouldn't take those but I was just testing it out overall these are in really good condition okay we have a unbranded dress almost looks like it's kind of vintage um, that's just some dirt on there they did not want this does have some strings hanging off though, um, but it does seem pretty, I don't know, it doesn't smell vintage, but it does not have any tags. No tags, so they did not want this dress. Another pair of Sperry's, these do have some staining on the toe right there. Otherwise, these are in really good condition. This one's really wrinkly. It's by Lulu's and I send in a lot of Lulu's, but I'm noticing it does not get that high of a profit as I thought it would. So that one does need to be ironed or steamed. It's like a tunic dress, maybe. Let's stick together. And I was just testing these out. They're in pretty good condition. 
just threw them in the bag they're Bernie Mev not really familiar with this brand there's those ah this kind of feels like it has peeling or pulling but it is a chaser sweater, so I'm happy to get this back. I may even just list this on my Poshmark, Saturday and Sunday. Last one in that bag is some American Eagle denim. And I noticed right away they have some pink staining right there. Next bag. Ooh, this is pretty. This is also Lulu's. And I will have to inspect this why they did not take it. It's really kind of a formal dress, so they don't really take certain dresses, but not sure if this one has a flaw. I will have to check it out. Um, if I do find a flaw, I'll leave it in the drop box of this video so you can go check that out. And I'll let you know. Sanctuary. Uh, probably will send this one back in because it is more of the fall colors. And I probably sent this in around summer time, at the beginning of summer, so. We have a little purse. Looks kind of vintage, and it's by Jones, New York. I just thought it was super cute, little crossbody. Sunny Lee. And it's a dress. I will probably send this one back in, even though I don't think the profit is too high on these. But I'll go ahead and send that back in. A little girl's Betsy Johnson skirt. Or actually, it's not Betsy Johnson. I do find Betsy Johnson a lot, but this is just Garnimals from like Walmart. Didn't even see that, but it's super cute. It's a skirt. This one is a dress. It's by Vineyard Collection. It's more of like a um, bridal dress or a prom dress maybe. I don't know, I might send this one back in. I'm not seeing any flaws, but I'll keep looking it over before I send it in. And then we have this green purse that has a stain on the bottom. We might just clean that up and send this one back in. It is by, I see another food stain there. I was in a hurry clearly on this day. Got a spot here that looks like it'll come off. And it's by Tiganello. Show you the tag. There. So I'll wipe this down a little bit. And I'll try to send it back in. So there's that.